Hi and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, I'll be giving you a comprehensive breakdown on how to use the trading platform Trade Locker, both on mobile and on desktop. So if you don't know what Trade Locker is, Trade Locker is a trading platform, just like every other trading platform like MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, CTrader and TradingView. As a matter of fact, uh, Trade Locker is built on Trading View, and the developers actually added a lot of functionalities when you compare it to Trading and uh, MetaTrader. It has more functionalities. So, in order to download the Trade Locker on your desktop, just go to your browser of choice and type in Trade Locker. So the first search result on your browser, you click it. And once you click that, it brings you to the website. View the next gen trading platform with us. This is the landing page of the website and you could read through to have a background of what the platform offers. They regularly release updates, which is another good part of it. So it's something that is frequently updated. When you scroll down, you go to the bottom, you see options trade on trade local web, download for desktop, download on the app store and Google play for this. I'm on my desktop. So I will download for desktop. Now, when you click on that, it brings you to this other page where you select based on your system type currently i'm using a windows laptop so i will download for windows so what you do is just click this and it starts downloading immediately and after downloading you just install it like every other app i wouldn't do this now because i've already had i already have it installed on my laptop so i will just go straight into logging in so after you have installed the trade locker app on your laptop this is what you'll be greeted with the login page and here you will need to impute your login credentials in order to log in now trade locker to use trade locker you need to have an account with a broker or a prop firm that offers trade locker as a choice for trading platform and there are a couple of prop firms and brokers which you could use when you go to the website you just click on start trading now under start trading you fill in your name you fill in your email and the name of the prop firm which you want to use you accept and submit it brings you to this page where the list all the brokers and all the prop firms that have trade locker as an option on their platform on their website so if you don't have a prop firm or a broker of choice you could just scroll through this to find out those brokers and prop firm that offers this so for the purpose of this tutorial, I selected just a random prop firm I'll be using for this and a random broker, I mean to say, I'll be using for this. And I went to the broker website and created an account on the website and opened a demo account for uh, Trade Locker. So I'll use that demo account now I'll use to log in to the application. So what I do, I'll put in my email. So after I've filled in these details, I just simply click login and the application boots up. Now this is what it looks like, the framework of the application. It's quite simple and similar to most applications which you're using. So this shouldn't be like a struggle to get used to. Now. I will start by the left hand side here, this left bar where you have zoom in, you have zoom out, 
and you have panel options. Now you could see that there are over four panels here, but the chat option panel is always there. So these three panels are for one market panel. You could see it's highlighted as I hover on it. The second is other panel and the third is the trades panel. So whichever panel you want to be out, you just click on it and it's taken out. If you need more screen real estate to use for trading. So you could select those panels from this area here and put them in whichever way you want. So if I want to zoom in, I just click on the zoom and it zooms into the chart. Or I can just um, simply scroll with my mouse and it zooms in. If you want to maximize your chart, you click here. You maximize the chart so that only the chart shows. And you could also minimize. If you want to take screenshots, just like um, trading view, you could see here the trading is chart by trading view. So this actually is an incorporation of trading view and trade locker features. So you have a lot of similarities between this application and trading view. So um, let's just zoom out. I will also add back my panels, the other panels. So for the market panel, which is this highlighted here, let me just take this out. So this market panels is where you will get your um, currency pairs and indices, whatever currency pairs your broker allows you to use. You could search for whatever you want to trade here. AUD USD. You could search for any pair. And once you click on it, it loads it up on the chart. So whatever you are trading, you could search for them here and you could select some favorites, which you could add in this section here. So mo just most of the basic features, which you will see in trading view, you will also see them here. But what I'm not really sure of is at the moment, those premium features such as replay and uh, paid indicators, they are not here as of the time of making this video. Probably they will be added later. So that's it for the panel. So for the other panel, this is the other panel. It's more like the one click trading on MetaTrader. So what this does is gives you the complete options of what you need to take a trade. So if you need to buy, if you need to sell, this is where you get those options. If you need mark, straight market execution, this is it. Then if you want to put a pending order, you just click on that market and you see it changes to pending. You now adjust in whichever way you want to put the trade. You increase your lots or reduce your lots, depends. And it as you do that, it automatically shows you the margin here then risk you could specify your risk depends on how much you're willing to lose and whatever you you have in mind or your strategy you could also choose a stop loss and the rest so i will just take a few instant market execution trade here i'll increase the loss size and take bye 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 for tutorial sake so when we go down to the trade panel and activate it you will see that my orders are here those orders which i took you will see them under the trade panel you could also move this uh other panel to wherever you want on the screen in order to create space for your self so these are the trades which i opened and you could see every information about them the side i'm on buy 
the size or the lot size, the entry market price, the stop loss if I added any, and take profits, margin, and so lot more. Also, it shows you the number of positions that are open. So if I have 20 positions, 20 will be listed here. If I have just one, one will be listed here. You could close the trades by clicking this X beside at the end of the trades to close whatever trade positions you want. And if you want to edit any trade, you just select this edit or this pen tool and edit it. So, and also this platform also gives you the ability to close partial trades assuming you don't want to, you have a high lot size probably a standard lot and you don't want to close the standard lot completely probably you want to take profits of 0 0.5 you could just come here partial close you click it specify the lots you want to close once you specify it you click close that specific lots which you have chosen to close is what will be closed rather than the whole trade so it's a very good option for taking partial profits but in a situation where you want to close the trade completely you just close with this x and it autom automatically closes your position for you then on the mobile platform there is also an option to click to close all positions with just a single click so i will also show you that when i get to the mobile aspect so here the pending section is where you have um if you have a pending order this is where it will be listed out as you mean i put a buy stop or sell stop or limit order this is where they'll be shown and once those others have been activated they will go on the positions and be reflected there also if you want to check your closed positions your closed positions which you have closed already you just select that option you select that options to go through your closed positions which are closed and you could select the day if it's Close positions for the day or for the week, month, year, or all close positions. This is where you will get them. Here is the balance, your account balance, how much you have in your account, the profit and loss of your trades that is ongoing, the equity, and the margin used. So these are everything you will find under the trades panel. So I will delete this and now for the main chart itself, like earlier stated, it's powered by TradingView. So a lot of the features you will be seeing will be similar to that of TradingView. And if you are used to TradingView, you will know that these are exactly the same tools you see on TradingView. This is the line, trend line. And when you click, you find more drawing tools here. If you want Fibonacci and other analysis tools, this is where you see them. Shapes, uh, forecasting and measurement tools, the brushes, the texts and icons, ruler tool. This is where you all see them on this panel. And you could hide it by clicking this button in case you don't need it. But in a situation where you do, you click and it comes up. On the top hand side, you will also see the time frame where you could choose the time frame of your choice. So you could select any time frame and the chart automatically changes to that time frame you have selected. You could also select the type of candlestick you want the chart to be represented. Like you could choose the bars, you could choose candles, you could choose hollow candles, lines, whatever. So far, it's based to your strategy. You're free to do that. And here is the indicators tab. Just like Trevision View, you select whatever indicator you need. Uh, EMA. Just select whatever indicator by searching. And if you have any favorites, you select 
you click the star and favorite it. Then here are for indicator templates for people that will have strategies that involves combining indicators. You could use the indicator templates for that. Now this open icon which you see here is showing whenever the market is open. So during weekends, what you'll be seeing there is closed. But currently the market is live. That's why it's open. And that should be it for the desktop version of uh, Trade Locker. So for the mobile version of Trade Locker, I'm currently using an Android phone. And to download this, you just go to your Google Play Store and search for Trade Locker. When you search it, the first result that comes up with the Trade Locker icon is install it. And after installing, you open, you click on open and you are greeted by the login page of Trade Locker. So you fill in your details like before. So after filling your details, you click on login and you'll be logged in to the application proper. So this is what the application of Trade Locker looks like. And you can see that it looks similar to that of the desktop. On the left hand side, you have your two panels as the desktop. Up here, you have the time frame, the candlestick type, the indicator, and other options. Down here, you have the uh, trade panel, which you could use to instantly take trades by direct market execution, or you click on the market execution and change to pending order, whichever suits you. You could see the risk and the stop loss and take profits. So on right up here, you could toggle on the different options. Here, the first option there is for the chart and what we have talked about. Then the second option is for the market. So whatever you're looking for, whatever currency pair you're looking for, you search for it here under the market options. Then for the trade option, it shows you all your trades that are there in positions. So here on the mobile version, you have an option of clicking a single button and closing all trades. So I will do that for this video. You could see the all trades button here. I will click that. It asks me for option of closing positions all. So once I select that, it closes all my trade. And I could see my close positions under the close position area. So these are all the trades I took in the course of this tutorial. And this is where they will all be. So you could refresh to check. Yeah, and you will see the total profit or loss, the total fee if your broker charges fee, and the total swap, just a summary of the whole closed trades. Then here is the balance section, then trades section. So that's it for the trade locker application. So if you found this video helpful, please do consider to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.